my good friend Ben Patrick. He's got his pen ready. I got my pen ready. The goal for today is to reform, improve education. Uh, performance education is an area that very few coaches will tell you is being done to a high standard on a global level. Coaches going through certifications, etc. It, it hasn't gone to where it should have. In, in engineering, in medicine, in other areas, emergency surgery, you can see the education, the things that they've achieved are phenomenal over the last 100 years. Uh, as far as performance education goes, I, I feel as though some of the old educators were, you know, the people in the 30s were maybe ahead of us now. So what can we do about this? What's the future of education look like? What would it have been great to have experienced when we were at that, you know, college, university age? What would we have loved to have been able to access? That's the goal today. So, uh, Ben, thank yep. you so much for your time. Uh, I'd love you to you know, share some, share some thoughts, share some ideas, and we'll just bounce from here. I got a lot of ideas, and I'm going to write them down, and I want anyone listening to also think of ideas. This is an ideal scene brainstorm. If you want to know where you're going, you got to be picturing what is that going to look like. So to me, I look at what I wish existed. So my whole story is built on the fact that I could not find a good trainer. I went to a lot of trainers. I spent a lot of money. All I had to show for it was shitty athleticism and three knee surgeries. So right off the bat, if I'm making a list here, you know, I, I need a trainer directory that I can be anywhere in the world and I can have trust that I'm getting a good trainer. And this is a proven concept. Uh, I've done CrossFit in the past. I'm sure we've all been there at some point in time and we know what it's like. We can go on vacation. We can go on to Yelp and we can look for a CrossFit gym and we know what we're going to get. But we need to create that for a higher level of training detail. So as a community, if we can have our coaches in a database that anyone can search, I mean, just look at our Instagrams alone. We're over hundreds of thousands of eyes on our Instagrams. There's swipe up features and links and things we can have right in our profiles where anyone can go find a coach and then know what they're certified in. So then how do those certifications happen? Well. I'm taking the role of knees and Instagram. That's what I'm starting with, 10-week courses that someone who finishes them is going to have exact end products of actions that they not only know, you know the details of why behind it, but they can produce that result in the, in the real world. And of course, an Instagram certification, that's more of a course than a certification. But the knee certification, meaning you could look in that directory and you could see, here's a coach. And he has blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. He has a knee ability certification. Well, I know that he is going to know how to deliver the system that has more knee success stories than any other system on the planet. And I think that's where we run into an issue. And, and Keegan, I'm sorry for just being the only one to talk here, but you're good, you're good I have a lot of you know, things that I've really been thinking about. And you know, if we're looking at things and we're seeing that we used to have to spend $100,000 or more to get the latest certification but if those certifications are being certified in things that are not producing the best results well we can also see at the same time in the market the biggest companies are like uber uber doesn't own a car right so the taxi business was supposed to be there forever and in new york city it costs like 100 grand just to get a specific plate now that's worthless because of uber so the same thing applies because of social media and the way things can connect online our most valuable quality as a group of trainers is our group and our connection. Every follower we have, every person in the community is worth exponentially more money. So if you can get certified in what actually produces the best results and you can afford to get certified and then people can find you online, then we're really heading somewhere. So more people are going to be needed to step up because this doesn't work if we just put out like an average education, right? We need to be finding the actual best results possible and having someone teach that. So this is a, my knee course is a year round thing. My Instagram course, well, that's what I'm starting with for online coaching because if you can have a shit ton of eyes on your product, you can sell a lot. But of course that will evolve as the year goes on. That will evolve as, you know, maybe other social media platforms, but I haven't even gone into those yet. That'll evolve into, you know, how to best deliver online coaching, things like that. So those are just two areas, but there may be 50 areas in training and nutrition. And if someone can be 
providing the best in those areas. Now look at the connection that creates and look at the fact that every time I win, when I go to 100,000 followers, when I train LeBron James, well, now everyone on the team wins more because it brings more eyes to our community. And the same thing goes for every other guy. So if you look at the successful actions of, you know, Facebook, Uber, these kind of things, we need to copy that as trainers and then we can bring a real change. So those were my, my first two big ones to list in terms of our ideal scene is that we have a, a directory of trainers and it can show whether they do in-person, groups, online, what they're certified in. And then all together, we now market each other even more. And so that's kind of the, the second thing is that we need to have every aspect of training covered in terms of the education. We need to provide the best possible education. So if you have the directory, and then if we have real people manning specific courses as a year round lifestyle, not as just, let me just make this course and I'm done with it. So that th those are the two big ones for me in terms of visualizing an ideal scene of how we can totally change things on this planet because the, the rates of injuries are just skyrocketing. The rates of drugs and surgeries are skyrocketing and we have the power to fix that and we don't have to spend a hundred grand to get educated to do so. So Keegan, can you add some more to the list in terms of ideal scene? What's our, what's our vision for the future? I've got that we have the best trainer directory and we have the best online education. I love it. I think there's, yeah, you know, those two things in themselves are, are the keys. They're at the core. We've, we're up to about 800,000 now combined reach across our membership. So all of these coaches have put their hand up and said, like, I want to be better and, and I want to be able to reach more people. You know what I mean? So we, we're going to go past the million reach uh, collectively pretty soon. And, and coaches are really getting onto the idea of uh, we, we're going to grow together. You know, there are a lot of different niches out there. There are a lot of different people. People are looking for different things, different people in different places. Like, let's just share each other's stuff and see what happens. Like, that that concept in itself uh, is is massive. I think that's kind of your third thing that you, you know, you touched on there is the leverage. Like, that leverage, we need to get to more people. And we can't rely that, you know, um, that's just going to happen on its own. We have to do that actively, you know, like that's worked so well in our relationship. Um, it's, you know, I've got more people joining real movement from America than, than ever before. And I know that it's because of our connection. Like that's the biggest reason, you know, for, for the growth that I've had, uh, over there with, with real movement that we've been able to achieve. Like, so that is, that is so huge in itself, Ben, like it, it's just, the chances of a trainer creating Uber are very, very low. You know what I mean? Like the chances of coach Paul, who's got his Instagram followers with 500 followers and he's doing generic kind of stuff. He's just never going to have that reach, but we can help not only to change from coach Paul to something that means something to somebody, but also, you know, how to get those videos on point. Okay, so media is a big thing. How to get the photos on point. You know, you, you've helped me a lot with that and you're taking that stuff to another level. We have got a, a guide and directory now from a media expert that our members can access. Um, and that'll be part of what we do within the Instagram course. But to have some support, I think, around video and media is a huge piece. Like you can't just pretend that, I'm going to be good enough. So it's going to be okay. Like I'm just, it's, I'm going to be so smart that it doesn't matter if my photos are shit, my videos are shit. Like, you know, you're not playing that card. I'm not playing that card. Um, we're doing our best with that stuff. And I think that that is going to be an area to continue to evolve. If we can have a team of uh, video editors, graphics designers, you know, they, these sorts of people that yep. our coaches can plug things into, that's going to yep. make the world of difference. Like, and, and trying to find all that on your own and get started and stuff like that. You can definitely get it done. But budgets, time, I know that the more barriers there are, the worse the, worse the content is going to be and the worse the level overall is. So if, if on average we can improve the, the quality of content of every coach in our community, then that's going to blow that 800,000 to 10 million faster in, in total reach. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just noted down from you two points. So, so community 
and video media. So if we look at community, the most valuable commodity right now in the world is followers, connections, community. So simply by, if we have a trainer directory with the best online education and the best community, now we're really getting somewhere. You know, I, you know, my business is profiting over a million in 2020 easily. And that's in less than two years online. I've had Instagram, you know, I started my Instagram account less than a year ago. It just proves that, and that's the only way that I market. I'm not going door to door. I'm not paying for Facebook ads. I'm just doing Instagram. So if I'm only using Instagram, well, that means that the followers I have there, that's how I'm making my money. So it just proves that community, I mean, there's nothing I could have paid for to match the value of more followers and more eyes on my product. It's the most valuable thing. So as we keep growing our 800,000 follower reach, we simply all win. We simply all get automatic increase of free marketing. So the community aspect, I put in bold as the third thing on my list. And then I agree with the video media as the fourth thing. Like, you know, I, I spend thousands of dollars on that stuff and I'm having to, you know, walk through uncharted areas. And, and if we can have, you know, the more we can get video and media happening through real movement that say a trainer gets a certification and now they have a really nice, you know, video and or uh, graphic picture to acknowledge that now they can use that on social media a hell of a lot better. And without them having to go and figure out, oh, wow, I wasted a thousand dollars trying to hire this guy and that guy, you know, so, so the video media, I think is, is absolutely huge. So that's four like pretty solid things that put the value through the roof that whatever you are as a trainer, people are going to be able to find you that you're going to be able to get educated on anything you need to know about being a trainer rather than spending a hundred grand on education that didn't work. Then another 10 K on some marketing course, then, th then having to fly all around going to this seminar for powerlifting and this seminar for Olympic weightlifting, this, and you know, it, it really adds up. I spent tens of thousands of dollars a year on that kind of stuff really going nowhere. So the trainer directory, the online education, the community. So now the, you know, the more you're, you're doing, people are aware of it and you're growing your followers and then you have high quality video and media. I mean, this is painting like a killer, killer picture. I agree. I think the biggest thing that we're missing here is the thing that I see most with coaches is they just, it's that personal piece, Ben, like execution, self-image and confidence. Uh, it, they could have all that stuff, but if they feel like, well, that's great for them, but I'm not worthy, then, you know, that will start to change with being on the directory, with us keeping their performance data and having their performance profile there so they want to improve their lifts, you know, so they and the education, right? Yeah, so the education. So anyone doing my knee program is going to find out in two weeks what they have to do to pass. And anyone can do that, but it does, you know, make you literally like one in a million. So that, that automatically makes you more marketable. You know, by making sure that our online education requires world-class excellence, now you're creating someone. I want to be able to go in and do a – a course on ring work for my upper body yep. and then be able to be absolutely shredded so that in my knee videos online, I'm selling even more because the aesthetic is higher. I'm about to be in LA for six months and I try to pick places that are going to have <laughs> kind of good, like visible lighting, right? Yeah. So that as I demonstrate exercises outside, I'm putting knee ability for life into a picture book. I'm going to write it all as a book. I'm going to put studies behind everything and I'm going to publish it as a book and try to sell the crap out of it. Well, yeah. How much easier is it to sell that book when I now have the Real Movement Network? How much easier is it to sell a book on anything you write, to sell a course on anything you write? But the point is, I want to be able to go online and pass a course in ring work because the place I rented out has a garage. I can hang rings in there, and I want to get my upper body shredded up because I know it'll sell my product better. So making sure that the online education has standards not just of intelligence but standards that push you to actually be – you know, a visual demonstration of it yourself. I mean, 
that's what's selling in training right now. The guys selling these massive amounts of programs, they're, they're shredded out of their minds. They can do this stuff. They can prove it. So I think that's a huge part of how we educate, that we educate different, that we can practice what we preach. If you want to sell a flexibility course and you can simply do a splits, it's hard not to sell. Like it's actually, if you just, if you can do what you're trying to sell and then you have a community and people are seeing it, you just sell. So I think there's a fifth one though. And I think the fifth one I'm finding is the number one thing for me marketing wise. And I think as a community, we need to somehow have a, a, a storage, a database of this which is success. So a big missing thing in any business is success is really making it well known that the success, uh, making well known the success that people are having. And that would include both coaches themselves to market to future coaches, but also, you know, a client should be able to know that whatever knee issue they've had, that our knee ability program has handled that issue, not by us saying it, but by real successes. So I think for every you know, type of issue, I think we should have a directory of just thousands of successes for every possible issue and somehow setting ourselves apart because I wouldn't be on this call right now if I didn't think that Real Movement collectively just has the best training system. If I thought the best training minds were somewhere else, I'd be somewhere else. I want to help people. It's really freaking simple. And I think that real movement beats any other training systems out there. So the point is we need to make sure people know that we beat any other training system. We need to be able to proudly market that we factually create more results for whatever these different departments are. So I'm trying to lead that charge with knee ability. I never miss a result. I've collected over 1200 of them in less than a year. So I can proudly say, that I create more actual knee results than any other coach on the planet. And we need to be able to have that for every single course we deliver and save these successes. We need to try to get out ahead of, look, CrossFit's awesome, but we fix more back pain. CrossFit's awesome, but we create more six packs. We create more, you know, uh, okay, the good old, you know, speed systems out there, we create more speed results. We, you know, we need to, we need to actually prove our worth and document that we have a better product, that we create more results. So that's, that's going to be somewhere in there. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I think, you know, that's, it's a big piece we've actually had. I haven't spoken about it yet, but we've had some big wins with our data collection backend sort of stuff. And I think that we, the better we can be at collecting data for our members, that will then open the door also to collect data from students of our, of our members. You know what I mean? Um, so Collecting and publishing that data is a huge piece for me. Like we've already got, you know, we've got 400 coaches there at the moment. If we're collecting all of their data and, and, and being able to track their journey, then I don't, I don't think anyone's ever really done this with coaches. And yeah. I know that if we can do it with the coaches, then we can, you know, we can do it with their athletes, with their students. So we can even keeping track of the Instagram is smart. If yeah. we say our trainers collectively have a reach of 20 million, you know, like, and also with income, I think at the end of each year, we should be looking at yeah. how much income are we making as trainers? Because if we can market, hey, as trainers, we bring in 50 million in a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's going to beat that? You know, it's, it's a competition. It's a game. We got to beat the competition. We think we can beat the competition, but we, gotta, we can't run from that competition. I want to take that competition head on. Who's, yeah. who's going to beat us? Who's going to beat, you know, what we can put out? And if we can't do that, well, we shouldn't be in this game anyways. And I'd rather die trying to be the best than just sit around, let our lives go by. And then what? You know what I mean? We're actually creating a legacy. If you come in here and you achieve things and you bring things to the table, this goes beyond just what you do. This is going to continue on even past your life. You know, knee ability will be a part of real movement forever. And that's just one small area. So what can other people bring to the table? How can we create the absolute best? And, and have it live on forever. So, you know, and, and just so people are very clear, I mean, I'm, I'm making way more money than I ever expected to as a trainer, right? And how well do you think my future families can be taken care of because knee ability is still generating thousands of signups per year forever? Not even because of the trainers doing it on real movement. I do it as a volunteer and that helps me make more money 
because again, the most valuable commodity is your reach. It is your community. So the people who get in now have a chance to really be setting themselves up for generations. Whereas otherwise you do your, you know, what's the end game as a personal trainer? You know, what's, what's the end game for your family? So this is real movement is a route that we can actually be creating an end game for our family and for our next generations, even after us. 100%. I love that. Love that vision legacy. I think that's our sixth one, Ben is uh, sort of getting, you know, hinting around it before, but let me know what you think. Like the personal development uh, mission execution piece. Okay. So our productivity system, we now have a real movement diary. It's in three month blocks. Did you get shit done in that three months or did you pretend you were and, and you, you actually didn't get anything done? Not everything's going to work, right? Like you, we've had a lot of failed experiments, but go hard, execute, make progress in your training, make, you know, uh, make big plays with your marketing, make big plays with, you know, what you're doing. And, and if it works, it works. It's not that everything is going to turn to gold, but in real movement, we have that system of accountability, what you need to get done every day, what you need to, you know, how you evaluate your week, your month, you know, my, my goal for the month in April was to get to 6.5% on the sculpt. It's a, it's a device. It tells me digitally. Yes. No. Did I do it? Did I not? I didn't do it, but I got leaner than I've been uh, for quite Look a while. Look how shredded you are in your social media photos. It's insane. Yeah. I'm making some, I'm making some progress and, and you fail your way to the moon. Like it doesn't mean I can't hit that in May. It doesn't mean, you know, I hit a, I wanted to hit 135 front squat. I hit a 132, no belt, uh, 132 and a half. I hit a, you know, so I didn't get there, but I'm, I'm closer, I'm closer to it. I got momentum and I'm confident going forward to the next thing within the community. You know, I could run through people, but there's so many people in there that I need them to identify their mission and then be willing to be coached upon execution because not everybody is like you that you know is going to be so driven and so you know every day you know this is a habit that can be built i think some of this was wired into you and me from our parents my dad was a career coach absolutely obsessive my brother is uh you know a, a man of massive work ethic like not everybody has had this kind of uh environment now, i've seen your parents and you know you can speak to that if you want to but we can, we can, I believe it's coachable and learnable, you know, to, to become an executor, to become someone who's on a mission and who's going to give everything to that mission. So that's, that's a big piece of what we do with your movement. It's not just, you could say that's education, but I feel like it's, it's its own piece because it's really personal identity, personality. Um, yeah. Real moment's going to push you to be better. If you look in the, if I'm looking at my list here and I'm looking at community, I mean, I have to bring my A game, right? Like, I can't wait to make the next video better because then it's going to be that much clearer of a representation. You know what I mean? It's, um, I think that community vibe is really important to push and motivate you because as creatures, we want to eat, but we also have a, this innate desire to help others and to help others eat. And so that gives us almost another level of happiness. So because of that, I think a lot of people look at me and they look at my work ethic, but if you look at my track record, it's because I'm so motivated to help people with what helped me. So if, if there wasn't, if I was just a personal business, you know what I mean? If it was just about me, then I would have a lot of months where I'm just a piece of shit with no work ethic. You know what I mean? And I remember in college, I was the normal piece of shit on the couch watching all kinds of TV shows and stuff because I didn't have that purpose to help somebody else. So I've been through these different periods. And when you have that community, you, you get yourself into so much more action and you force yourself to level up, level up, level up. So it, it's going to make you level up whatever you do. So I think a good way to finish out is just to recap on that last point, yep. which you brought up, which is legacy. I think every coach should either be trying to create a gym, an online business or program or a book. I mean, something, some product that goes beyond just you personal training there's nothing wrong with you personal training but i just think there should be some product there that extends beyond just yourself because as part of real movement my god if you set up give if you gave me 12 months with real movement i could set up a gym that's profiting out the roof and guess what that's never going to change because now it has the community behind it, people now talking about that gym. That gym is going to go on forever. Now, I chose online. So 
it's the same thing. My online business is going to go on forever. If I do a book, that's going to go on forever. So you should be trying to create some products because real movement gives you, as we went over in the previous points, automatic community, but it, it also brings the potential for long-term legacy for you as a trainer, as opposed to just all your work at the end of things being done and being for nothing for your family and your future generation. So ideal scene for my future. I'm looking at real movement. We have millions and millions of followers in our community. Uh, people who look to us as coaches that they know and they trust because of our online education that they can just go to that directory. They can find the best coach for them anywhere they go. It's like CrossFit. It's like, Oh, need a CrossFit box. Oh, you need a, you need a trainer. You go to real movement. I mean, it's not even close. Why would you go to anyone else? These guys can do it. They're proven to do things that are proven to get results. They can get the best results. You can find them easily. And then we're all making each other known as a community. Our video and social media quality is higher than any other trainer group. We're going to be looking at schmucks finishing college, hundred grand educations, no results to their name, teaching something that's already 20, 30 years behind us. And where's their video and media? They've just finished college. They got nothing Try reaching back out to your college. Hey, can you make videos for me and great graphics? Forget about it. And then where's the success? You're teaching, you're teaching what exactly? Where's the success behind what you're doing? Where's the results coming in? Plus, your training is not creating those results. But with Real Movement, it is. With Real Movement, every day is a chance for one of your clients having just an incredible success story, which creates more clients. And all these five things I just mentioned add up to what your legacy, whatever your ultimate passion or product is going to be is just going to live on forever so we're at the we're at the tip of the iceberg right now with real movement but i think we're the first chance the planet's ever had to really pull this off and i think anyone who thinks of it in terms of a month or even a year is missing the big picture that we're all going to be so insanely successful five ten years from now which is really small in the scheme of things because we stuck with it i mean we we cannot fail if you look at what we're doing, because it's, it's built on real truth. It's real movement. You know, you called yours real movement. I called mine athletic truth group before we ever said a word to each other. Yeah. It's, it's built on something real. It's built on truth. So we can't fail, but the more we push now, it's just going to accelerate our goals faster, but there's no way, there's no way we're failing. This train is going forever. Love it, Ben. This was completely off the cuff. Ben said, what are we going to talk about today? And I said, like, what about if we spoke about this? And, and this is what we've come up with. This stuff is so close to our hearts. And so, you know, something that we, we think about a lot. I just know that, you know, the opportunity is there. The, the pain, you know, the need for change in society around health and performance is, is there. So there's, there's obviously a massive demand for great coaches. And, and I get messages all the time. I'm sure you do as well, Ben, like, who do you know here? What do you know? Like, who can help yep. me out? It's a real yep. challenge for a consumer. You think it's a flooded market of trainers? It's an empty market. There are no trainers out there. There is no trainer. All these coach Paul, there's no consumer confidence. So it's, it's so, so difficult for someone to, to look and, and yeah, they might have a good body, but then is it, you know, are they taking steroids? What, what method have they followed? There needs to be something that builds confidence, you know, for, for the consumer. And CrossFit's probably the best example that the world has seen so far. Yep. But, you know. The, you know yeah, I, I think we have tremendous respect for CrossFit. As a community, we, amazing. We just have, right, we just have a little bit uh, further beliefs on the side of, of resilience, you know, and, and getting even further into the more, personal side of it right like owning a crossfit box you're not gonna be making the kind of money you can make on some of the things we're doing just you know personal there's more chance for personal growth and success in real movement um and just more chance exercise. more yeah, chance for innovation selection. yeah right so so crossfit limits how much the trainer can grow as an individual and to innovate for the better you know what i mean i'm fixing people's knees coming from crossfit you know what i mean so CrossFit doesn't provide that opportunity to absorb something I'm bringing to the table because it's already CrossFit. So we, we don't have that fixed mindset. We have that open mindset to the, the truth, wherever it comes from at whatever time in whatever way, shape or form. So 
I got those six written down. Trainer directory, online education, community, video media, success, and legacy. Um, let's see what, what anyone else can write yeah. down. Let's yeah. give, give us some stuff, man. Give us some stuff. What's the ideal scene for the future? Yep. We missed something there. What did we miss? Send us a message. Let us know. And we're going to keep building this out together with you guys. So, yep. That, that's us. Thank you so much for your time, Ben. It was, you know, it's always special. There's always great energy. There's more clarity. I'm getting more clarity every week, every time we have a good discussion. Uh, we've come a long way in the last couple of weeks again. So I really, really appreciate your, your energy and your time here. Look how much we've come in just the last year. Crazy. It's insane. Yeah. So that's thanks to you bringing us together, showing the power of this community. So anyone who doesn't, who's not a part of Real Movement is not going to want to see how far we come in the next year. Yeah, I'm pumped. Thank you, man. Thanks to you.